In the fighting art of kendo, the warriors eat plenty of garlic when training. Also, garlic is rubbed on the bamboo swords to keep them supple. For four days, scientists talked and discussed their research and results. Using every method known to science, some have investigated the ancient cures using garlic, while others have researched the actual plant. With the high incidence in cancer that occurs in this country, we're really excited about the, these numbers, these data, uh, and clearly suggest uh, that dietary factors can be a significant regulator of our susceptibility to, to cancer. And uh, since diet is one of the pleasures of life, it's kind of nice that we can do something with one of the condiments and actually uh, decrease our risk. One of the remarkable characteristics of garlic that I've had the for good fortune to participate in is the, um, is the fact that garlic contains some natural anti-clotting agents. And my uh, co-workers have found a number of such agents, one of them called ahoine, and another one called uh, a vinyl dithion. There's some work done by scientists at the Los Alamos National Laboratory in which they took this anti-clotting monomer, this small molecule, and converted it into a polymer, that is a plastic material. And this pl plastic material has the property of the compound present in garlic that it's anti-clotting. And there are hopes that this new synthetic plastic that incorporates uh, this anti-clotting uh, compound can be used in the design of heart valves and artificial uh, blood vessels and things like that. So this would be an example of a discovery inspired by research on garlic. While experts were examining the way garlic prevents diseases, a more practical use of garlic was being made in the kitchens below. Garlic snails, the Willard Hotel way. Just a little bit of white wine. Very gently we fill in the escargots together with the garlic sauce into the center and let it just gently run it a little bit over. And then we top it up like so. And a fresh spike of rosemary. And then it should be served very quickly to the table. There's over 400 alliums in the, uh, in the species, but uh, in many of these do grow wild. Some are very ornamental and others are, are culinary. The one that we have around here is called crow garlic because it's carried from field to field by the crow and uh, is a real pest in farmers' fields and ends up in your uh, bread flour. And that, of course, is where garlic bread first came from. It had nothing to do with any fine chef, but it was actually ground in the, uh, by the millers and turned out as a, as a flavored garlic, garlic bread. These pigeons are not destined for the cooking pot. As with racehorses, these pigeons are pampered by their trainers and given copious amounts of garlic for the same health reasons. A healthy pigeon attracts a high price. Two hundred to start at three hundred dollars anyway. It's up three and a half. At five hundred dollars anyway, it's up five and a half at five fifty a guard. At five hundred and fifty anyway, it's up five and a half at five fifty dollars. Now it's seven hundred and fifty dollars all day. That's one thousand dollars. I got one thousand at one thousand now. One thousand I got at the front here. At one thousand now. At one thousand dollars all day. Your husband might be one of these who makes too much cholesterol in his own body, and that's quite irrespective of the diet that he's on. Uh, this tends to particularly occur also in people under stress, and interestingly enough, in those who are on very low-fat diets. He might like to try a garlic supplement, as recent research indicates that the high sulfur uh, amino acids that are in the garlic can actually inhibit the body's own production of cholesterol. Now, Allison's one of the main substances in the garlic that causes the garlicky smell, but it's also very unstable and, and probably is non-existent in uh, the garlic products that we see on the shelf. Garlic is one of the great medicinal foods that's been used for many thousands of years. It has many applications and it's been used just about every part of the body you can imagine. Garlic is a great natural substance for getting rid of toothache 
And for anybody who has a mouth full of amalgam fillings that contain mercury, it's just as well to take a little garlic every day, simply so that the high sulfur amino acids present in the garlic can actually bind up to the mercury, rendering the mercury inactive. In both southern France and China, peeled garlic is put into a little water and grown in the centre of the table. This is for superstitious reasons, to deflect the evil eye or envy. The added advantage is that the strong garlicky tops can be used in salads and cooking. Another way in which the art of cooking with garlic is spreading around the world is the training of chefs. Here at André Degain's restaurant, these apprentices are being trained in a classical French style. This garlic can be used either as a condiment for flavor or as a vegetable. When it's well cooked, or more so when it's cooked for a long time, it becomes a very interesting vegetable. We are now going to prepare a recipe of stuffed rabbit with garlic confit. You might be surprised that you can use all this garlic, but not at all. When it's cooked properly, when it's simmered, it becomes soft, and we can eat it as a vegetable. You will see that puree of garlic and garlic are both very edible, and do not leave an overpowering smell. No race is more passionate about garlic than the Spanish. Hundreds of tons were sent with the Armada in 1588 to end washed up on the shores of England. In spite of how it is used, regardless of the amount, first it has to be topped and tailed. And remember, cut or bruised garlic smells. Garlic is rubbed on skins when drums or tambourines are made. It is rubbed into castanets and is used for the most famous Spanish musical instrument, the guitar. Next time you hear a top quality guitar or stringed instrument, a little of that magic may be from the stinking rose garlic. After the Spanish have oiled their furniture, it is rubbed with garlic to give it that rich patina while sculptors use garlic to harden soft patches in marble. In Spain, nearly everyone uses garlic. I use garlic to treat the wood I paint on. Garlic was used traditionally to prime the wood and maintain the texture. It was also used to prime plaster for painting on. I believe the origin is from Roman times. It gives a very subtle texture to the wood. It allows the texture and the grain of the wood to be seen through the paint. 